Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to classify stationary points. Now in order to do this lesson you should have already completed last lesson which was on uh, identifying the location of stationary points. So if I give you an equation you should be able to tell me where the stationary points are. So for example just a quick recap Last lesson I gave you this curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 7 and in order to find out where the turning point was we differentiated it and we set the dy over dx equal to 0 and then we rearrange it to find out the x coordinate. Okay so the next step is once we differentiate an equation set it to 0 find the x coordinate how do we know what type of stationary point it is? If you have a look at this curve, we have a stationary point which is called a minimum. So this is called a minimum. And if you have a look at the second curve that we worked on last lesson, we have another type of stationary point which is called a maximum. So what is the difference? Well have a look at the minimum point. This point here, the minimum, is the lowest point of the curve. There is nowhere else on this curve that has a lower y value compared to the minimum. Whereas the maximum point has the highest y value on the whole curve and there is no other point with a bigger y value than the maximum. Now, how do you know whether a point is minimum or maximum without drawing the graph? So if you have a look at the differentiated equation, even though we were able to find the x and the y coordinate for the minimum, uh, we don't know whether this is the minimum or maximum until we have drawn the graph. So today's tutorial it's going to be about uh, classifying whether a point is minimum or maximum. So let's talk about a maximum first. A maximum looks like this. Oops, let me draw that a bit better. And it is at the highest point of this curve where it's the maximum and what you will find is that the gradient at any point to the left of the maximum is positive. So to the left of the maximum, so here is where the maximum point is, and to the left, which is this whole section here, has a positive gradient. So dy over dx oops dy over dx is positive which means it's bigger than zero now any point to the right of the stationary point on this curve has a negative gradient so dy over dx is smaller than zero Whereas on the stationary point, of course, we have a gradient of zero. So that is the uh, that is the characteristic of a maximum. Now let's have a look at a minimum point. So a minimum point, while the gradient at the point is uh, zero, if we have uh, x coordinate bigger than the stationary point's x coordinate, so any point to the right of the stationary point, we have the gradient is bigger than zero because the line is going up. On the other hand, any point smaller than the x coordinate of the stationary point has a gradient smaller than zero or a negative gradient. 
sorry I'm just gonna say negative positive so you don't get confused here we have positive and then negative so I'll recap this again a maximum point has a positive gradient going to zero going to a negative gradient a minimum point has a, a negative gradient going to zero going to a positive gradient okay so this is a maximum this is a minimum now let's talk about point of inflection which is a different type of stationary point and it usually occurs in cubics where we have a line going up and then it comes to a stop somewhere where the gradient is zero and then it keeps going up again now there's a point where the gradient is zero uh, so what happens is basically the gradient is positive and then it becomes smaller and smaller until it gets to zero and then it gets bigger and bigger again so basically the gradient to the left of the point is positive so dy over dx is bigger than zero and then it gets smaller to zero and then it goes up again uh, so the gradient is again positive okay so how do we use this information to classify whether the gradient is positive or negative sorry whether the uh, whether the point is a maximum or minimum so let's go back to our first question now here is the curve here's the equation of the curve we have already differentiated it to tell us that the point at x equals 2 and y equals 3 has a gradient of 0 so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna substitute an x value substitute x value smaller than 2 because our stationary point is that x is equal to 2 and see if dy over dx in other words the gradient is positive or negative so let's try that so dy over dx equals 2x minus 4 so let's substitute in x is equal to 1 so sub in x equals 1 so dy over dx is equal to 2 times 1 minus 4 which is 2 minus 4 which is negative 2 which is negative and as you can see here the gradient to the left of the stationary point here it's going down so it's negative and if you sub in x is bigger than 2 so for example 3 then dy over dx is going to be positive because we have 2 times 3 minus 4 which is 6 minus 4 which is positive 2 so here we have positive so this fits the characteristic of a uh, minimum because we have gradient going down and then up again so we have negative to positive so therefore this point is a uh, minimum okay so if in another possibility in another possible case we have it going from positive to negative 
in this point is a maximum. So uh, have a look, have a go at our quiz on the website and uh, see how you go. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.